Mark, what is the big challenge that is being faced in Formula One for, in the next decade? Well, there's no doubt that the single biggest challenge facing mankind is global warming and uh, man-made global warming and climate change. And Formula One, as you can imagine, is at the epicenter of uh, the kind of criticisms that uh, a global sport might get because we, we burn fossil fuel, we travel the world, we take a lot of people and freight and logistics around uh, the globe. And you can imagine, therefore, over the years, I've often had a question about that. So the good news is that Formula One in November 2019 announced that by 2030, the entire world championship will be carbon neutral and actually uh, not just carbon neutral, but in fact, zero carbon emissions. Now, how are we going to achieve that? It seems like an almost impossible challenge. Well, one of the things I love talking about is that successful people in Formula One love setting big impossible challenges and the whole industry has done that so what we're doing is in four years time 2026 formula one cars will not be running on petrol they will not be running on diesel they will not be running on fossil fuel we're actually going to create a synthetic fuel by pulling carbon dioxide out of the atmosphere or out of the ocean which of course is part of the global warming uh, gas problem that we have in the upper atmosphere so we're going to create a synthetic hydrocarbon we're going to have large electric uh, hybrid uh, engines. We have hybrid engines today, but of course the motor runs on fossil fuel. So we're going to abandon fossil fuel, have these incredibly efficient uh, engines and uh, hybrid engines running on uh, synthetic fuel. And then we're going to get into the nitty gritty. And in fact, it's happening right now in 2022. We are abandoning all use of single use plastic at races, getting rid of food wastage, uh, each Formula One event has to be a carbon neutral event. All of our factories, all of those big factories where we employ thousands of people have to run on renewable energy. So we cannot use electricity that's been produced by something that's not clean, not re renewable. And indeed, the Williams Formula One team, who I spent a little bit of time with in December 2021, they were telling me that they're planning to be carbon positive by 2030. So not only not generating any emissions, they're actually going to be contributing to improving uh, the climate by the initiatives that they're bringing. In fact, the Williams Formula One team is going to produce more energy than they consume and provide that energy back into the grid. So across Formula One, we're seeing a groundswell of innovation and creativity as we head towards that 2030 target. And why are we doing that? Well, we're doing it for a couple of reasons. First of all, all of us in Formula One who have spent our lives traveling the world have seen firsthand the environmental pollution and damage that mankind has wrought and indeed witnessed climate change firsthand. I could give you lots of examples from lots of the countries uh, where we visit. And then secondly, from a, a slightly more brutal business perspective, we know that our customers will not tolerate us damaging the environment. It's something that is no longer acceptable. So as part of Formula One's environment, environment, social and governance uh, projects. This uh, net zero target by 2030 is a fundamental pillar and it's one that we're looking forward to achieving because I think it'll help to develop some of the solutions that will have benefits to wider society. That is so exciting. Thank you for sharing that.